Hi, this is an instructional video for the song I Will Sing the Wondrous Story uh, written by Francis H. Rowley. So this is quite a old hymn and the chord that I play in or the key that I play in would be in the key of E. So chords involved or rather this song is in 3-4 beats so you can do either a simple 3 strums and a down up. 1, 2, 3, down up and repeat or you can change your next chord. 1, 2, 3, down up. One, Two, three, down up. One, two, three, and so on. Or you can do a little plucking. So what I do is one strum, and then I go in between a few of the strings here, which is the fourth, second, third, first, second. So one strum. That's how it sounds like, and this uh, strumming of this plucking pattern should fall also within three counts. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you don't have to be so precise on hitting the correct strings, but as long as you get the count there, it should be correct. Or it should sound okay. Alright, so for the verse, I, so that's E, I will sing. At the sing that's after your three counts, one, two, three, and then C sharp minor, two, three, and over here F sharp minor. All right. So first of all, for the C sharp minor, how do you play? As you bar your fourth fret over here, with the fifth string down, your ring and last finger will be on the sixth fret of the fourth and third string, and your middle finger will be on the fifth fret of the second string. So as a C sharp minor, I will sing the wondrous. Okay, for the wondrous, uh, I play an F sharp minor, but I play it open, so this is how I do it. Ring and the last finger on the fourth fret of the fifth and fourth string, and your index finger will be on the second fret of the third string. You can strum from the fifth string down. So the wondrous story. Over here, I play an open B. So basically, how you play it, your index finger will be on the second fret, fifth string and your ring and last finger will be on the 4th fret of the 4th and 3rd string you do not have to bar the 2nd fret so this is how it sounds like from the 5th string down strumming alright so once again I will sing that's E I will sing C sharp minor of the uh, sorry I will s E will sing C sharp minor the wondrous F sharp minor story B of over here I play a G sharp minor. How do you play the G sharp minor? It's just basically your F sharp minor, but moving it up, the, the open F sharp minor, but move it up to the fourth fret. So that's F sharp minor, or the open F sharp minor, of the Christ. Christ is a C sharp minor who died. Alright, so who died will be an F sharp minor. Who died, and over at the word four, that's so there's two counts of the who died and one count of the B, 4, and back to E, me. Alright, and then repeat again. Alright, and over at the um, chorus or the refrain, Chords involved would be a G sharp minor. Yes, I'll sing C sharp minor, the wondrous F sharp minor, story B, and then off E, the Christ C sharp minor, who died. Over here, I play A2, that's basically your A without the ring finger. Who died for me to your B, sing E, it with. Yeah, move up to the F sharp minor, the Saints, G sharp minor, uh, in glory, that's a B, gathered, G sharp minor, by, that's an A2, the Crystal, that's a B, and C, C will be your E. Alright, so this is how it sounds like from the verse, uh, using the chords that I showed you. Intro, you can just play four counts of the E. Four, four times, three, four. I will sing the wondrous story of the Christ who died for me. home in 
story of a Christ who died for me. Sing it with the saints in glory, gathered by the crystal sea. Second verse, I was lost, and so on. So that's basically the whole song. I hope this video helps.